Provost, graduands and honoured guests, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to this graduation day and a warm welcome also to those family and friends who are joining us remotely. We meet today to recognise the outstanding achievements of students at Imperial College. Ultimately, our time at Imperial is measured and recognised through our academic accomplishments. However, today is about so much more than that. Today we recognise also sporting triumphs, artistic and musical excellence, diversity of culture, diversity of ideas, the willingness to volunteer our time for the benefit of others, and most of all, the continued commitment to excellence and the betterment of the world around us. For more than 60 years, Imperial College students have graduated in this hall. These ceremonies have proceeded through times of hardship and of prosperity, through times of peace and of conflict. Conflict has been on many of our minds lately, and no doubt the war in Ukraine has deeply affected many of our students, including, I'm sure, some of you graduating today. In times of such grave uncertainty, we yearn to know what the future holds for us, to know that tomorrow will be a little brighter than today. I've reflected lately on the words of one of the college's own Nobel laureates, Dennis Gabor, whose own life was shaped by conflict. Born into a Hungarian Jewish family, he fled Nazi Germany for Britain in 1933. Writing about war and other threats to society, he coined a now well-known phrase, the future cannot be predicted, but futures can be invented. We all play a shared role in inventing the future, both in the literal sense of invention as it happens here in the college, but also in the broader sense in which our everyday actions bound the possibilities of the future. The scientific and medical training that you have received at the college will have given you the tools for this invention, but it falls to you to decide what kind of future you are shaping. A more prosperous future, a kinder future, a peaceful future, or a future in which inequality and conflict are yet more deeply entrenched. Let us look to the example of those who came before, like Dennis Gabor, like our other Nobel laureates, including Abdus Salam, pioneer of electroweak unification, like the college's pioneering women academics, Margaret Fishenden and Letitia Chitty. Imperial College does not lack for sources of inspiration. But moving forwards, remember that whilst we now stand on the shoulders of giants, in future years, yours will be the shoulders upon which others stand. As you proceed to the next stage, whatever that might be, remember those shoulders upon which you stand and be clear-eyed about how your choices shape our shared future. Be kind, treat others with empathy and respect. Be innovative, make change, start something new, seek knowledge, but always for the betterment of humanity. Congratulations on all that you have achieved and best of luck with all that is to come. Members of court and council, colleagues, distinguished honorees, graduates, family and friends. It is my honour as Provost of Imperial College London on behalf of the President and the members of council to welcome you to Graduation Day 2022. Before we begin, I want to say also that we as an institution are deeply concerned about the tragic events in Ukraine. 
Our hearts go out to all of those affected and we will do everything we can to support them. Imperial has always been a home to brilliant students and academics of all nations, including those who have fled their home country. And some of our greatest achievements have come from refugees like Dennis Gabor, as Lloyd noted earlier. That will remain so. We reaffirm our commitment to international collaboration and to welcoming students and academics from every part of the world. But today, I want to salute our graduates on your success. Congratulations. You've worked hard for this momentous occasion, and you have earned these celebrations today. Now, any graduation is a big achievement, but you've arrived at this one after navigating some extraordinary circumstances. And in doing so, you have adapted, improvised, and innovated through an especially difficult time that we have faced. And through it, you have excelled. The pandemic created new challenges to the ways in which you completed your studies, and you rose to those challenges with determination and creativity. The long hours of work you spent in lectures, laboratories, libraries, and online have expanded your horizons intellectually and socially. Yet you've kept focused and you've kept moving forward when it felt like the world around had come to a standstill. Many of you went above and beyond to volunteer and support your local communities. And you can be very proud of yourselves for persevering and showing such resilience in the face of adversity. Now, this graduation, too, is a bit different, and perhaps not the one that you were expecting or indeed hoping for. While we have all of you here in this wonderful building, we are missing your crowd of supporters and cheerleaders. Even though they're not here in person because of the constraints imposed by the pandemic, our enjoyment of this day is still very much enriched by those who supported you during your studies at Imperial and are now watching the ceremony online around the world. Your parents, grandparents, mentors, extended family and friends have all been key parts of the networks that got you here and were there when you needed them. They share in your triumphs and take pride in your accomplishments. Let's show our appreciation to them now. And also, of course, your professors, teachers, and staff who have shared their knowledge, sparked your curiosity and imagination, and broadened your horizons are crucial to you being here today. They're dedicated researchers and educators, acknowledged leaders in their fields. They went to great lengths to ensure that your education was of the highest caliber. They have shown you the importance of having high standards and dedication. So let's thank them too. As you walk across the stage of this inspiring and historic hall, we're all very proud of your achievements and applaud your many talents. In completing your degrees, you have faced challenges, both usual and unusual, but you have learned both about your subject and about yourselves, and you have succeeded. I know that your experiences at Imperial during your time here will serve as a guide to you as you navigate what lies ahead. You leave Imperial with the confidence to take risks and to be creative. I have no doubt that you will continue to grow as experts in your chosen fields and develop new approaches, clever solutions, and compelling ideas that will guide us all in the future. I remember myself graduating from Imperial many years ago and the very real sense of accomplishment that that brought with it. My experience here opened new horizons for me. It spurred me to explore the world, both geographically and intellectually, and I hope it will do that also for you. I found a lasting joy in learning and discovering and using that knowledge to make even a small difference in the world. 
Your journeys are only just beginning, and I hope you remain curious and retain a sense of wonder about the world throughout your careers as you continue to learn. And as you go out into the world, here's a couple of things I'd urge on you. First, do what is right and not just what is easy or enjoyable. Accomplishment has, takes hard work and graft and some difficult choices. The status quo requires modification and new ways of working are always needed to make a difference. Second, approach your life with awareness and empathy for others. Know what you value and stick to it. Society works when we think about and look out for each other. And you have many wonderful role models in the Imperial graduates who have gone before you. Now you joined their esteemed ranks as the alumni of this great institution. You are the inspiration for and the embodiment of excellence at the college. And your 200,000 predecessors and you have the opportunity to encourage others to follow in your footsteps. I hope that you will stay connected to your imperial community. You've created lasting memories together with colleagues and friends. They will help you adapt and to cope with whatever the future brings. We look forward to hearing your stories and celebrating your successes in the future. Imperial will continue to be important to society by bringing benefit through our ideas and our people. From excellence in research and education, in science, engineering, medicine and business, to ensuring that these have a real impact in the world. So strive to do your best, never to stop learning, to extend your reach and share your knowledge and skills widely. You are important. You will define the future of our world and we have every faith in you as you pursue your dreams. Many congratulations. Thank you. Provost, I beg leave to present those who have received awards within the Faculty of Medicine. The names will be announced by Professor Alison McGregor, Professor of Musculoskeletal Biodynamics, Professor Dorian Hasgard, Consul Non-Clinical for the Faculty of Medicine, Professor Laki Buluela, Professor of Cancer Medicine, and Professor Terry Tetley, Proconsul and Professor of Lung Cell Biology. Due to the large number of graduates being presented today, may I ask you to reserve applause to prize winners and until the end of each department. Associates of the Imperial College School of Medicine, Bachelor of Science, Megan Alfrey. Luca David Arnold, Fatiha Mohammed Noor, Kiki Chen, Addison Puwen Chen, Julia Carolina Dabroska, Blaheen Dockery, Hannah Doadar. Austin Endo, awarded the ICBS Prize for the best group project in the Joint Honours Program, Harry Freeman. <laughs> Valentina Fanaro, awarded the BSc Medical Biosciences Year 3 Academic Excellence Prize, Carl Keith Greenland. <laughs> Michael Hei Yu Wei Chiang, Si Wing Joyce Ho, Nina Ravia Ayer, Megan Jaram, Lee Sung Jo, Huli Johnson, Najmai Kareem Marmani,
Vivian Lee, Joyce Lam, Anna Daria Laszlo, Min Lee, Kawang Catherine Leon, Su Young Lee. Awarded the ICBS Prize for the best group project in the Joint Honours Programme, Aruthri Luthra. <laughs> Angel Shishwing Ma. Radvili Morissette. Alexander Michener. Awarded the ICBS Prize for the best group project in the Joint Honours Programme, Ravi Naran Mulachandi. <laughs> Grace Lorna O'Connell. Carmen Putajin. Georgina Powell, Maria Sathona, Suma Sharma, Veronica Sukanova, Hey Yu Haley C, Amanda Tay Shushang Ray, Matthew George Taylor. Layla Mira Sufi Uzways, Rin Karina Shah, Layla Mira Sophia Uzways, Rin Wada, Su Chan Su. That concludes the Bachelor of Science graduates. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Intercalated Department of Medicine. Mariam Mohammed Mohammed Mustafa Obagadir. Suleiman Ahmed. May Allen. Omar Amar. Angeliki Danani Andrio Popolu. Eliza Arshad. Sumbul Asif. Anthony Atia. Sophie Eleanor Chamberlain. Sophia Hannah Amy Chastel. Sherm Ping Choi. Alexander William Coombs, Nicholas Davies, Eleanor Ming Wei Dean, Lily Megan Taylor Duma, Barbara Fulana, James Freiter, awarded the Pereira Prize for the best overall performance in the BSc Anesthesia and Critical Care, Zoe Chan. Saruj Munish Gandhi, awarded the Dudley Prize for the best overall performance in BSc Module 1, Omar Gandawa. <laughs> Mohammed Gulid, Hugo Hall, awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize for the best overall performance in the BSc Humanities, Philosophy and Law, John Hum. Zaba Asus Hossein. Sashinainan Nathan Gunnison Nathan. Zaba Hussein. Umara Hussein. Ryan Hussein. Junaid Islam. Kinjal Jadeja. Awarded the ICBS Prize for the Best Health Management Performance on the BSc Management Program, Syed Taylor Jun. <laughs> Mayuri Kalaravi. Amelia Katarare Golestani. Poppy Alice Kemp. 
Javid Ahmed Khan, Thomas Alexander Khan White, Livia Kula, awarded the Agnes Cope Prize for the best overall performance in the BSc Cardiovascular Sciences, Thomas Kerwin. Rebecca, Rebecca Leslie awarded the Cancer Frontiers Prize for the best overall performance in Cancer Frontiers, Mi Chi Lim. Annabelle Lines. Dana Mardi. Sahil Mahmood. Hannah Emily Mallon. Catherine McGarry. Victoria Maya Melachinsaka. Luisa Murza. Sarah Murza. Milan Nagra. Jennifer Nandi. Ibrahim Ali Nasir. Karishma Nusinga. Rene Okira. Efwa Adoa awarded the Dudley Phillips Memorial Prize for the best overall performance in the BSc Gastroenterology and Hepatology, Jayun Otuma. <laughs> Amy Pinky, Victoria Price, Shriya Puranik, Nuha Rabi. Freya Rhodes, Phoebe Ross, Oliver Andres Salazar, Shahini Shah, Pavan Sharma, Unju Sharma, Nathaniel Tim Shatwell, Sufali Singh, Muthukuri Sivakuma, Surya Suman, Nikita Soni, Anayam Sophie, Jake James Simington, Muzamil Tahiri, Alicia Tickle, Melissa Truman. Anna Vasiliou, Valeria Villegas Anugo, Florence Wilson, Wing Yang Elizabeth Wong, Lydia Sahem, Anum Zara, Sifang Zeng. That concludes the Bachelor of Science Intercalated Graduates. Please join me in a. Ooh. Sorry, one more. <laughs> Tanya Usoman. That now concludes the Bachelor of Science. It's my great pleasure to read the names of the recipients of the Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery degrees. Uh, recipient of the Grant Blair Portfolio Prize and the Adam Snape Audit Prize, Ali Abdel Razak. <laughs> Lilima Ahmed. Abia Amna Ahmed. Saida Mahin Asam. Aaron Ayi. Recipient of the Rudolf Constam Gold Prize, Hussein Al Fazli. <laughs> Shaheb Ali, Zara Almeyai, Rahman Al Zubaydi, Jothika, Jothika Amaralingam, Sachin Anath, Rajiv Ark, Udila Ashraf. Charlotte Barrett, Yasmin Nayab Bashir, Anthony Yakub Bohinski, 
Dominika Bogusevic, Emily Jane Boother, Nina Bowman, Anna Boyer, Navdeep Kaur Buwal Mita, Abhinaya Chandra Shekhar, Shiv Chohan, Kiran Chen, Andy Cheng, Shan Otuan Chabra, Giles Chick, Anthony Yanchu Chung, recipient of the Swinford Evans Gold Prize, Annabelle Chung, <laughs> Oliver Clements, recipient of the William Travers Prize and the Swinford Evans Silver Prize, Florence Coth. Maria Constantinescu, Benedict Nicholas Cullen, recipient of the Faculty of Medicine Prize Overall Performance in Finals, Russell Fred Dessar, Sarah Dillon, recipient of the Burns Prize and the Hawker Scholarship Prize, Yasmin Jaridi, Eleanor Sophie Michelle Dorman, Laurie Edwards, Asma Essa, recipient of the Rudolf Constam Silver Prize and the Adam Snape Audit Prize, highly commended. Eri Fujitaki, Ishita Ghosh, Jagruti Rajesh Gohil, Jack Griffiths, Ben Habushi, Charles David Hallett, Oriel Harford, Recipient of the William Travers Prize, Joanna Harvey. Tadaaki Hashimoto. Benjamin James Hayward. Recipient of the Murray Prize, Charles Michael Hessian. Jiawe Huang. Daniel Huddard. Salman Hussein. Nadia Natasha Ibrahim. Charles Sebastian George Ingram, Meereen Ishak, Tom Jennings, Sejia Alina Jang, Liz Joseph, Apanu Joshi, Siraj Nitesh Joshi, Linoj Kanageswaran, Amma Nainesh Kansagara, Demetrius Carbonis, Kane Kakriya, Shujat Khan, Charlene Ursula Koza, Guy Kirkpatrick, Alexander Knighton, Edmund Kong, Amrit Kaur Kuna, Payal Trupti Koteka, Praveena Krishan Kuma, Shushaya Krishna Pile, Dominic Laguru, Sion Lee, Joseph Lee, Joshua Lee. Apologies. No two on it. Tanya Lee. George Lee Hengling. Denise Lin. Alexander McCauley. Sama Mahmood. Ashni Malhotra. Anam Tahir Malik. Amy Mann. Sirtaj Singh Matu, no two to seven. Kabir Singh Matwala, Roshni Mitra, Emma Bess Mittelman, Sarah Mohammed, Jinanan Mohan, recipient of the Abrams Prize in Histopathology, 
the Rudolf Konstam Silver Prize, the HWC Vines Prize in Pathology, and the Jasmine Anandaraja Prize in Immunology, Hassan Mohindan. Amber Moore, Richard Thomas Mospan, Felicity Mukishimiana, Alexandra Mandel, Devratha Muthalagapan, recipient of the Chadwick Prize, the Rudolf Konstam Gold Prize, the Sugden Prize, Faculty of Medicine Prize Overall Performance in Finals, and the Stanford Cade Prize, second best performance in surgery, Sylvia Motoni. <laughs> Falak Haida Nagvi, recipient of the Timothy Heyman Memorial Prize, Daniel Nagvi. <laughs> Michael Naruz, Stephen Nolts, Dinesh Nilarana Jirathan. Grace Rosemary Newton Livens, recipient of the Green Armitage Prize, uh, A.K. Lemna Obe Jesse. <laughs> Jessica Omasoli. Aaron Daniel Richard O'Sullivan, recipient of the Edgar Lawley Prize, Best Overall Performance in Finals, the Faculty of Medicine Prize, Overall Performance in Finals, the British Pharmacological Society Prize, Best Overall Performance in Clinical Pharmacology, James Martin Robert Palmer. <laughs> Thomas Palmer. Paniotis Padalidis. No 253. No 253. The next one. You want me to do 254? What about Patel? Aaron Hitesh Patel. And now 254. Krishni Perimpathasan. Victoria Pilkington. Harriet Powell. Harvinder Singh Power. Recipient of the Calvary Prize in Chemical Pathology, the Hawker Scholarship Prize, the Martin J. Turner Scholarship Prize, the Mercer's Prize, the Meadows Prize, the Gordon M. Holmes Prize for Best Performance in Medicine, the Faculty of Medicine Prize for Overall Performance in Finals, and the Anthony de Rothschild Prize for Best Performance in Surgery, Nicole Kwa Chin Sian. <laughs> Kevin Korte, Haris Rahim, Shandida Rahman, recipient of the Murray Prize, the Victor Ludorum Llewellyn Prize, the second best overall performance in clinical ph pharmacology, Hussein Riaz Rajabali. Vijay Ramados, recipient of the Calvary Prize in Chemical Pathology, the Abrams Prize in Histopathology, the Martin J. Turner Scholarship Prize, the Mildred Lees Prize, the Rudolf Constam Gold Prize, the Wallace Prize, the Stevenson's Prize for third best performance in finals, and the Cheadle Prize for second best performance in medicine, Lasif Rana Singh. Ragul Ravi Mohan, Yantu Rednap, recipient of the Jasmine Ananda Raja Prize in Immunology and the Richard Hebb Prize in Hematology, Jeremiah, Jeremiah's Reg. <laughs> recipient of the Hambry Prize, Callum Riley. <laughs> so, what, what do you mean by this? <laughs> Susanna Rodriguez. Gargi Samath, Harjan Singh Sandar, Shandan Sanghera, Lucini Sevaraja, Kushan Sen, Thomas Shaw, Mohammed Reza Sheikh, Ridi Sinod Chenoy, Hafsa Siddiqui, Amenjeet Singh, Shivani Singh, Kieran Sivalingam, Stefan Sivapathan, recipient of the Worshipful Society of Apothecaries of London Prize, uh, Kumuthin 
Siv Se Thumparum. <laughs> Mohammed Zayed Snober. Anis Mohammed Tahir. Ali Tafi'i. Patrick Taylor. Recipient of the T. Watts Eden Prize, Lisa T. Lemons. <laughs> Shannon Thuraja. Ramesh Tirimana. Magdalene Zili C. Nicholas Yubi. Charlotte Valentine. Minuja Vijaykuma. Roshni Vinda. Sophia von Vid Dukind. Reese Weaver. Joshua Welsh. Recipient of the Rudolf Constam Bronze Prize, the Golden M. Gordon M. Holmes Prize, third best overall performance in medicine, Emma Louise Whiting. <laughs> Catherine Whitley. Anjali Wignakuma. Tegan Williams. Thomas Alexander Willis. Recipient of the Huget Prize, Jumar Diana Fung Kwan Kwan Wong. Hmm? Which is the next one? Richard Wood. Kritika Yadav. Asan Zaman. And Katie Zhu. That concludes the Bachelors in Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery graduates. Please wish them a round of applause. Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Science, Department of Brain Sciences. Kofa Warela Agun Biade. Robertus Alexines. Sanara Ya Aljaf. Emmanuel Bir Birigo. Charlotte Emma Boyles. Matthew Brace. Traz Dovosky. Gronya. Catherine Gagan, Paneditos Gianos, Rebecca Sarah Wormsley, Dragos Gria. Anwar Ali, Daniel Caterina da Silva, Hajet Kuri, Kitty Murphy, Diploma of the Imperial College Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Brain Sciences, Ayla Mansour. That concludes the Department of Brain Sciences. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Institute of Clinical Sciences. Constant Masako Ito. That concludes the Institute of Clinical Sciences. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduates. <laughs> Emily Conibert. Grace Ibert. Rena Joseph. Oh, sorry. Ian Daniel McDonald, Sam Michael Murray, Nabina Pun, Ignacio Ruiz Fernandez, Lakshmi Saravaniya, Satanariani Srishan Muganathan, William Steele. Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Immunology and Inflammation, Nicholas Transinides. 
That concludes the Department of Immunology and Inflammation. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Department of Infectious Disease. Charlotte Gaya Akhtatis. Nejed Mohammed Al Jadid. Rebecca Lucy Honeyman. Israq Jahan. Ekaterina Kafka. Anita Kuma. Rachel Lindsay. Kathleen Wen Huai Ung. Saeed Sajid. Tim Timothy Suri. Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Pediatrics and Child Health, Chiara Vela. <laughs> Devon Adriana Wetterings. Yuki Yanikas Gisawa. Ahmed Youssef. Jin Yi Shao. Doctor of Philosophy, Infectious Disease, Jonathan Barrow. Oh, sorry, Catherine Dulwich. Kampu Ha. Oh. Christine Crone Hu Su. Amy Isabella Jacobs. Nadia Khan. Robert Kipi Gon Lunat. Aki Se Kine. Charlotte Eve Short. Rochelle Saputir. That concludes the Department of Infectious Disease. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Department of Medicine. Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Applied Genomics to Catherine Shahul. Sha <laughs> Rebecca Mallory Raven. Nickman Al oh, Nickman Al Nur Hashim, Lauren Cameron, Anuja Chatterjee, Lesmahi Dimitriou, Yunan Gala, Margarita Kopnitsi, Lisi Laniste, Laura Lennox. Gladys Macharia, Bhakti Mystery, and Benson Tilly. That concludes the Department of Medicine. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Diploma of the Imperial College, Masters of Science, Department of Metabolism, Digestion, and Reproduction. Sana Ahmed, awarded the course prize for reproductive and deeper, 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 deeper <laughs> developmental biology, sorry, Hu Alashuba, <laughs> Fontini Athanasopoulou, Sabrina Bendaboos, Milori Kenstodoulous, Eleni Christou, Saithea Daramalegangam, Zenjing Ying Hu, Ariana Erande Karada, Wuye Yi Huang, Sonia Herchand, Hafisa Urshand, Tracy Lau, Amara Marzuk, Nima Arden Hassan Mohammed, Sandra Nugent T. Boroska, Adrian Rodriguez Gonzalez, Christos Kalitsis, 
awarded the Dean's Prize for Human Molecular Genetics, Claudia Sanchez Canibles. Celine Sevgi awarded the Course Prize for Reproductive and Developmental Biology, Kate Shramko. Hina Sophia Stone. Stina Svensson. Dora Shodralik. Diploma of the Imperial College, Masters of Research, Department of Metabolism, Digestion and Reproduction. Awarded the Dean's Prize for Biomedical Research, Megan Victoria Carlton Barnes. Constant Burgo, Emily Chantwin, Xingji Zheng, Virginia Chanalki, Elena Shan Karami, Horalanye Waju Haralode Erdan, Kisina Catherine Ellen, Thayela Gonzalez Maroto, Ling Chen He, Madeleine Kate Humphrey, Enkai Jin, Flora Kakanu, Shivani Kemka, Paula Moma Cabrera, Laura Nicastro, Hugh John Ombaradon, Rachel Ann Quinlan, Pornima Ramages. Awarded the Dean's Prize for Molecular Basis of Human Disease, Syra Sakalish. <laughs> Tabia Farin Saleem. Sheena Siwono Narain. Anuji Singh. Amali Sintu. Awarded the Dean's Prize for Respiratory and Cardiovascular Science, Elena Vasilaki. Bowen Zhang, Wong Si Yu, Chi Zhong, Christopher Short. Xingyang Zhu. Xingyang Zhu. Jing Nanju. Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Metabolism, Digestion and Reproduction. Russia, Asashalan. Adesola, Tempe Topa, Bailo. Catherine Good. Mirat Kaur. Elsie Lorazikiti. Hing Kong Hang Tommy Mao. Daniel McGill. Muhammad Azaid bin Mudmud Hawari. Limon Nahar. Pamela Prusky. Rajuna Singerna Yagan. David James Sunkiersing, Thomas Shamansky, Nazanin Kumani. That concludes the Department of Metabolism, Digestion and Reproduction. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduates. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, National Heart and Lung Institute. Ibtihal Aldihemi. 
Marilyn Na Janwa Addo. Nuf Yaya Al Khatib. Sarah Al Mazayan. Colored Al Salami. Leah Andrea Sian. Maria Carmeli Altinazar. Eric Hunter Shu Oyang. Bahuvya Balaji Krishnan. Adam Bahati. Dean's Prize for the Cardiovascular and Respiratory Healthcare, Abru Billen. <laughs> Alberto Coyado Ramasha. Dean's Prize for Medical Ultrasound Vascular, Rebecca Conda. <laughs> Francisca Costa. Monica Fioravanti. Benjamin Fletcher. Alex Batkin Chaloner Gray. Yanis Amish. Jane Eisenwana. Susanna Jablonska. Dilwara Khatun. Margarita Iona Kufaki. Elsa Lawrence. Casey Austin Lau. Yim Man Loy. Aya Majid. Valera Mahmuti. Olga Maminko. Sophie Marlowe. Taiba Noel Mustafa. Hiba Musa. Pakpobal Ogarol. Gloria Onyinyechi Opra. Eleni Palio Miha. Dean's Prize for Genes, Drugs and Stem Cells, Novel Therapies, Kerry Pickering. <laughs> Pasawi Pra Sertsuk. Priya Rihal. Joshua Reed. Van Annika Zane Ricklenzer. Rachel Robinson, Magneta Sefer, Afi Sepazard, Chitra Rajesh Tejpal, Yovita Chin, Annabel Van Den Hester, Kevin Takuya Vela. Belkais Ali Youssef Zagandi. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Philosophy, National Heart and Lung Institute, Aranon Sivananthan. Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, National Heart and Lung Institute, Sean Bellow. Mary Bryan. Larab Dean. Ariana Farini. Katerina Lawler. 
Anne Morgan, Pia Patricia Ogger, Pallavi Patel, Sajiram Sarvanantham, Brian Wang. That concludes the National Heart and Lung Institute. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. So it gives me pleasure to read the uh, recipients of the uh, School of Public Health Awards. Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Science, Daniel Anderson. Nina Maria del Toro Idi. Anna Ionidu. Nick Paul Jayanth. Victor Lost. Catriona Mackay. Finula Catherine McDade, Tarana Medikanova, Anna Raquel Pengeli, awarded the MSc Epidemiology Prize for Best Dissertation, Devlina Ray. <clears throat> Fatima Shahid, Sonia Ning Tang. The, awarded the Dean's Prize for MSc in Health Data Analytics and Machine Learning, MSc Health An Data Anal Analytics and Machine Learning Prize for Best Overall Dissertation, Thomas Wright. <laughs> Imogen Young. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Public Health, School of Public Health, Noor Arubai. Galia Baroum. Rona. Barusaya, Eva Baksavanidi, Kira Chapman, Lee Ann Ellis, Eva Emmanuel, Ananya Amit Gupta, awarded the Dean's Prize for Master in, Masters in Public Health, Health Services and Systems, and the Master of Public Health Prize for best overall performance, Erin Haney. <laughs> Laura Alexis Hindley. Yasmin Abita Samed Ibrahim. Sam Kavandi. Asghar Mirza. Amran Mohammed. Mali Mohammed. Zainab Sani Musa. Faria Nushina. Amuna Nessa, Catherine Parker, Fiona Percy, Niza Ravi, awarded the Masters of Public Health Prize for Best Dissertation, Beatrice Diane Reyes, <clears throat> Shubo Saithful, Vidya Sasitharan, Mariam Schwer, Ariana Rose Singer, Sharon Shidara, Amna Syed, Freya Tracy, Rachel Parimitha Sundari Viravali, Caroline Vergara, Hannah Beatrice Wenzel, Helena Whitfield, Natalia Williams, Isabella Rostezu. I have that in. Is that in which degree? Freya Tracy. Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Medicine, School of Public Health, Sacha Gulamali. Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, School of Public Health, Aisha Solman Hamad. Hiba Abraham Awada, Tom Bond.
Han Fu. Priya Ghosh. Sophie Annalisa Hamilton. Vile Kalthunan. Farida Name. Robbie Parks. Charlotte Roscoe. Thomas Charles, Thomas Robert Charles Smallwood. Wei Yi Wang. Zen Zhong Yang. That concludes the School of Public Health. Please join me in a round of applause for the recipients. Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Science, Department of Surgery and Cancer. Karum Ashak Ahmed. Aus Al Mukhtar. Noor Abdul Jabbar Sulag Al Zubaydi. Al Mad Nabil. Dean's Prize for Surgical Innovation, Michael Gara. <laughs> Wajid Hussain. Claudia Nels. Adeen Elizabeth Lama. Jennifer Magdala. Shoba Tara Numbier. Francesca Rose Oldfield. Sion Park. Bilan Patel, Jess Peck, Farinaz Pradhan, Akash Rai, Kimute Samede, Atunya Varathaliti. Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Education, Department of Surgery and Cancer, Sonia Basson. Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Research, Department of Surgery and Cancer, Rose, Rosie Gabrielle Foster. Xiutang Go. Alexander Hedlund. Jessica Louise Hill. Charlotte Hulderova. Benjamin Matthew Jackson. Fatini Kalabilika. Yini Ki Kong, Antara Labiba, Ricarda Minya Saints, Dean's Prize for Medical Robotics and Image, Guided Intervention, Eleni Monfant Sanchez, <laughs> Ella Rima, Tan Chanok Rek Krai, Tirapon Sahuang Araom, Madeleine Rees Shepherd, Thomas Talbot, Dean's Prize for Cancer Biology, Morgan Paul Hamilton Thomas, <laughs> Michalena Veronica Zatoska, Jinchi Zhao, Yuni Zhao, Zhuang Zhu, Ruchi Zhu. Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Medicine, Department of Surgery and Cancer, Cosimo Alex Leo. Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Surgery and Cancer, Rajaratnam Ramashankar. So just read the name, yeah? Natalie Valent. James Alexander. Emmanuel Bardin. Alice Beckley. Oliver Borton. Karin Chappell. Ian Cowell. 
Joran Kui, Giorgio Scaras, Francisco Giona da Silva, Deepa Kumari Guru, Roman Yulov, Fatini Kalifornu, Alexandras Gogas. Hanun Lu. Elena Perron. So we go. Okay, I know this is okay. Neha Tabasan. Tabitha Jia Hui Tei. Maria Theodopasopoulou. Benjamin Harvey Mullish. Livia Eva Raglan. That's it. Okay. That, that concludes the Department of Surgery Cancer and the Faculty of Medicine. Please join me in a round of applause to the, all the graduates. Dean, the Imperial Doctor of Science degree is awarded for published work of an exceptional standard containing original contributions to the advancement of knowledge and learning, which has given the candidates international distinction in their field of study. Professor Barry Cookson in Infection Prevention and Control and Antimicrobial Stewardship. That now concludes the graduates from the Faculty of Medicine. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduating class.
Richard. Thank you. The President's Medal for Excellence in External Collaboration and Partnerships. The Gene Therapy Group at Imperial College's National Heart and Lung Institute is a really excellent example of successful working across UK universities. Nearly 20 years ago, the group joined with the universities of Oxford and Edinburgh to form a national respiratory gene therapy consortium, which is now a world leader in research and industry collaboration with an initial focus on the treatment of cystic fibrosis. The consortium demonstrates the strength of pioneering research across the UK. Its record of successfully receiving funding awards, engaging in industrial collaborations, delivering the highest impact publications speaks for itself. And advances in this complex field of gene therapy could never have happened without this group's efforts. The consortium has been led from Imperial since its inception with a strategy group that includes Professors Eric Alton, Uta Greisenbach, and Professor Jane Davies. Their global reputation is testament to their ability to bring together researchers and translators to harness the power of multidisciplinary teamwork. The group has substantially raised the profile of Imperial within this emerging field of gene therapy and has put the college at the center of influencing policy with the team participating at high level government committees. In addition, the group has led the recent formation of the Advanced Therapeutic Center of Excellence at the college which will foster interaction and collaboration and further strengthen the college's role in this emerging field. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by Council to award the Gene Therapy Group the President's Medal for Excellence in External Collaboration and Partnerships in recognition of its outstanding contribution to research. However, in addition, the President's Medal for Excellence in Research Supervision so as well, Uta, as your vital contribution to the Gene Therapy Group, which has been given the President's Medal for Excellence, External Collaboration and Partnerships, we're delighted to also acknowledge Professor Uta Griesenbach's excellence in education. She's a very successful supervisor with a really admirable track record for program completion rates and student satisfaction. Most importantly, Uta shows real interest in teaching and supervision as evidenced by her most impressive contributions in this space. Many of her students have won prizes, including the British Thoracic Society and the British Society for Gene and Cell Therapy, and are very actively engaged in public engagement activities. Uta sets the bar high for student supervision, understanding the importance for students to develop transferable skills as part of their PhD. She encourages active participation in learned societies as well as the qualification of graduate teaching assistants, transferring her own teaching and supervision skills to future generations of academics. She operates an open door policy, creates a supportive environment, providing the right balance between freedom to operate and the guidance required to develop a successful career in research. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by Council to award Professor Uta Griesenbach, the President's Medal for Excellence in Research Supervision in recognition of our outstanding contribution to education. Uta. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, my heartfelt congratulations to everyone who's graduated today. One of the great things about Imperial is that it is wrestling and you are learning about all the great challenges that face our globe. Um, and you know, whatever you do, uh, whatever your qualifications are, you will be well equipped to make, to do something positive to help deal with the, the massive challenges that the world faces and to make a difference to the world. And of course, nowhere is that more true than in medicine, where every single one of you is going to go out and do good every day. Uh, and my plea to you would be to think about doing even more, find big challenges that you can bring your skills, your education, 
your strengths to bear upon. Now, while you've been here, uh, we've come through major challenges while you've been at Imperial. COVID, not vanquished, but being managed, and Brexit, where we are still in the foothills, frankly. We now have to deal with the impact on the world of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, world stability disturbed, global economies destabilized, and most important of all, the human cost, deaths, injuries, over two million refugees, and that number is still mounting. The outlook for world peace looks very different from just a few weeks ago. So let's think for a moment about, for, about students in Ukraine and indeed university teachers in Ukraine and the challenges they are currently facing, either as refugees or besieged residents or as soldiers. They're all probably doing one or the other of those three. And of course, ahead of us, we have the enormous challenge of climate change and getting the world to, to net zero. I think we may have to take one or two backward steps on that because of recent events, but it's still vital that we get on with it and do it at the right time. Now, Lloyd talked earlier about um, you know, people's capacity to make a difference. You know, one way I would put it is to say you can't change the past, but you can change the future. You know, the past is what it is but you folks have got the chance to go out and make a difference. And don't feel that you're leaving Imperial. As you go forth to do whatever you'll choose to do in the future, you'll still be part of the Imperial family. And we will be keen to hear of your progress and achievements. And I'm sure your progress and achievements will be absolutely outstanding wherever you are in the globe. So don't feel you're leaving us. Now I'm coming to the end of my remarks, but before I close, I'd like to ask you to join me Ian asked you to thank your professors and tutors and the staff who helped you earlier, but it was a fairly faint ripple of applause. I think you can do much better than that. Let's have some real applause, please, for all the people who helped you. Good, that was much better. Um, that wasn't bad at all, but I'll ask you in a moment to recognize again your family and friends, everyone who's played a part in helping you to get here and then to persevere and to succeed. Please blow the roof off with your appreciation of their efforts. They can't be with you physically today, but I'm sure many of them will be watching. Please, let's have a round of applause for everyone who supported you in getting here and getting through this uh, this great institution, so particularly your families. That's, that was terrific. We'll see later whether the other faculties can keep up with you or, uh, or not. Now, I know you want to get off and celebrate, and by heavens, you deserve to do that, but could I ask you to just be patient for a few moments? In a moment, we'll have the national anthem, so please be patient and wait for that, and then the academic profession. The, we would all like to get off the stage and out of here before we're killed in the rush, uh, but after that, I'm sure you're going to want to go out and celebrate, so just be a little bit patient first. Thank you very much.